Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to select a date range in jQuery Data Picker using Selenium Python WebDriver. In previous video tutorial, I explained how to select a single day from a date picker. This example is about selecting date range in the UI. Now let's look at the testing site. On this jQueryUI.com, we have a data picker control and you can use various formats of the data picker. The default functionality of data picker is to choose a single day from the calendar or date picker control. If you click on select date range, you can select from day and two day. So this is very typical in web applications that requires a date range. Now let's look at the element definition. I right click on this area and click on the inspect option. So as you see this date picker is under the iframe. So we need to use switch to frame to switch the web driver to the frame. And also we only have one iframe. So we can locate the element using the iframe tag. So from this iframe tag, I use the pointer to find the from object. This object can be identified using this input tag and id equals from or name equals from when i click on the from a calendar control displayed and first control has the select months item so if i move the pointer to this drop down list so this is a select. So in the code, we need to use the select module to select a month from a visible text. So when I expand the select, it has the visible text from January to December. Let's say I pick April. So now when I move the pointer to the day one, in April. So this day one can be identified using the table body, using TR, using the cell TD, and contains the text one. So by locating this input text and clicking on this, we can display the calendar control. From this control, we can select a month and we click on a day and this input box is filled with a day. And for two, it is the same process. If I move the pointer to the two element, so this can be identified using input id equals two and it also has the select element from the select drop down list. I select a month and click on a day. Let's say I select May and click on one. So now from month is April 1st, 2016 to two months is May 1st, 2016. In the assertion, you can do assertion either on the from months or either on the two for the string, that string should equal to the, the day you have picked. 
Now let's look at the actual test script. I created a Python unit test framework file and saved it as Selenium Python date picker date range unit test dot pi. Import unit test module, import time from Selenium import web driver from Selenium web driver dot support dot select import select because we select a month from the drop down list element. I named the class as date picker date range test and this class extends unit test dot test case. So in this setup method, I defined a driver for Chrome instance. So self.driver equals webdriver.chrome. Now self.driver.maximize window. So a Chrome browser is launched and the window is maximized. So in this test method, I defined a method test date picker date range so now driver equals self dot driver we navigate to the test website driver dot get this is the url for the test website and i added three seconds slip time so that you can observe the control on the ui now i define frame using the tag frame equals Driver dot find element by tag name iframe. Now we switch to frame. So driver dot switch to frame. Now let's look at the script to find out how we can choose a day from months in the from section. So I defined the date picker from element equals driver dot find element by months so this uh, by express this is input id equals from in order to display the calendar control we need to click on the from imp box so date picker from dot click now time dot slip two seconds so you can observe the calendar control now I define the months from so months from equals driver dot find element by xpass. This is xpass div select class equals UI date picker months and define select from months equals select months from. We use the select module. It takes the element as a parameter. So we define the select element select from months. Now select from months dot select by visible text. We select April from the visible text string. Time dot slip two seconds. So day from equals driver dot find element by xpass table table body tr row table cell td a text equals one. So that means we pick the first day of April and we click on the day. So day from dot click and time that slip five seconds for demo purposes using similar approach we can select a date from the two months so date picker two equals driver dot find element by xpass input id equals two so this is how we define the two input box now we click on the two input box. So added two seconds slip time. 
months to equals driver dot find element by express div select and class equals UI date picker dash months and this is how we define a month. Now we define a select element. Select two months equals select months two. This is the web element we already defined in this line. Now select two months dot select by visible text may. So we select may. Now added two seconds slip time. Day two equals driver dot find element by express table table body tr. This is cell and a text equals one. So we pick May 1st in the to calendar. Now day to click. We added five seconds slip time for demo purposes. Now we do assertion. So two month string. Date picker to get attribute value. Once we have value in the to input box, we get the value using date picker to get attribute value. Now we print out that value and do assertion. Assert equal two months string should equal to May 1st, 2016. In this teardown method, we use self.driver.close and self.driver.quit. Since this is the unit test framework, we execute the unit test dot main. Now the script is over. Let's execute the script and observe the result. So we use the command line to execute the script. The file name is selenium python date picker date range unit test dot py. So we can execute the script using python selenium python date picker date range unit test.py. Now I hit enter or press enter. Let's observe the result. Browser is launched and navigated to the date range date picker. So from box, now April is selected, one is clicked. Now the two box may is selected, one is clicked. So April 1st and May 1st is selected. So on the console, ran one test in 27 seconds and test result is OK. So this is how you can test a date picker using Selenium Python web driver. We can also change some of the parameters here to do more testing. Let's say, let's change this from April to June. So in this date picker, June is J-U-N. So now let's change it. So on the two section, instead of saying May, we change the script to J-U-N, June. And the day is 1. That doesn't change. But in the assertion, this should be, May should be changed to June. The number is 6. So June and 1. Now, let me save this file and execute the script again. So press enter. Let's observe the result. So April is selected and first is clicked. Now two control is clicked. June is selected and First is clicked. 
So now the browser is closed and web driver is terminated. On the console, run one test in 27 seconds and test result is OK. So this is how you can test date range using Selenium Python web driver. If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial, you can always check out the instructional article on the seleniummaster.com website or you can always send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.